Ah, oh, boy. Hurry up. Hello everyone, and welcome to Metal Gear Solid 2 Twin Snakes. I thought I'd try it out after everything or nothing. The reason why, I have no idea. Maybe I just haven't had enough of pain. So I attempted to record this and kind of messed up. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They are demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You will have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. SDV gets as close as it can. Dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was the commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, Master of Disguise. Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, Specialist in Interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one-man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly like Metal Gear Solid 3. Back in the question why that one guy was called Naked Snake and this guy is called Solid Snake. I have no idea. Okay, come on. There we go. Jeez. Don't go doing that to me, man. Let's uh, go for that. I can at least appreciate the cinematics. Even if I'm not the most adept at stealth. Begging the question why I'm even playing this. Again, I don't know either. Me 
maybe I'm just crazy. If only there were dark spots. There doesn't appear to be dark spots, though. You'd think those shadows would be the be my best bet, but nope. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. Who is that? To swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Who is that guy? Is that liquid or is that ocelot? I was about to say. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, Push the pause button, and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the pause button, and then the A button to receive the call. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Why does he say the pause button instead of start? That doesn't make any sense. He says the A button, and that would be less standard for controllers. So it's not like you can just say, well, it's because he had a certain controller layout. He didn't want to make it for just one controller type. Maybe it was for PlayStation 2, but... Like, the PlayStation, the Xbox, and the game... Well, the GameCube at the time. They all use start, but they don't all have A, so why would he vocalize A of all things? That doesn't make any sense. Also, maybe I should have been more patient. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I need to be more observant. Okay, there we go. I get the feeling that is going to help me a whole lot, though. Because around here, it seems like if the guards want to notice you, they're going to notice you no matter what. Ah, crap. What's that all about, Snake? Crud. About to say, go prone, bro. Well, at least they aren't that perceptive. So they are annoyingly perceptive. Why is he going backwards? Ah, shit. Who's there? You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Why did that happen? The cutscene screwed me up, man. I'm calling bullcrap, man. I'm calling bullcrap, man. How do you choke someone out? I have no idea how. I can hold down B, but I don't think that's going to help. Snake, move! I swear these controls are so confusing. Sometimes it's like Snake doesn't want to move, and then sometimes he does. Crouching is weird in this game. It was weird when I first tried it. That guy's going to wake up soon. Like a minute. Yeah, see, for some reason, knocked out guards wake up alarmingly fast. Crap. I'm under attack. Stay alert. Be on the lookout. 
let's just go over here because apparently they randomly look under them and snake what are you doing i did not tell you to go under that thing in fact i specifically wanted you to not go under that thing what are you doing man you're blowing the whole thing like you're blowing the whole operation here buddy it's because you decide you want to you want to decide you want to know where to go you, you think you know what's best snake but you don't know what's best because you keep getting yourself caught so clearly you do not know what's best. So please cut it out, Snake. I would really appreciate it. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Snake. Really? Of course the guard would happen to go walking by here at the last second. And of course, Snake is gonna be an idiot about this. Over there? Damn it. Yeah, it's impossible to do anything persistent. Consistently. It's impossible to do anything with consistency. I swear, this game does not have consistency at all. Maybe I'm just bitching, maybe I'm just being salty. But I swear to God, there is something with this game that is not consistent. And of course, I can't see shit because the camera angle changed. Why does the camera angle change? Shit, wrong one. Hold on a second. So yeah, this experiment is probably going to be short-lived some reason, doing anything in this game seems to be splitting hairs. Or pulling teeth. Or maybe splitting teeth and... Pulling hairs. I don't know why, but for some reason, this seems much more difficult than the PlayStation original. Why is the guard suddenly right there? That makes no sense to me. And why is it that when it's convenient for me, when it's inconvenient for me, the guard randomly hears things that the guard should not be able to hear? And the guard looks into places that the guard shouldn't be able to look into. That makes no sense to me. Oh boy, I'm screwed. I am so friggin' screwed here. Shit. Something over there. What was that sound? Of course. Of course he would happen to shoot me. Screw this, screw this, screw this. Yeah, I'm not I'm probably not gonna not gonna play this again. Sorry, but I don't know what it is, but I just can't figure this game out. It just does not make any sense to me. The guards just seem to be omniscient. They randomly know exactly what's going on at all times, literally. Like they have selective hearing, they have selective sight, they have selective everything. You could be crouching, you could be doing everything as well as you think you should be, and randomly they'll be like, oh, what's that? Oh, intruder! <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, granted, I got caught a lot on Metal Gear Solid 3 as well, but it compensated by just letting me beat people up if I'm caught. I miss that. I miss being able to do that, to be honest. Why can't I just beat the crap out of them if I'm caught? That was nice. I liked that. I liked that it gave me that option. Shit. Run. Okay, I guess we're not picking up the rations. Is there somebody there? And he's gonna randomly look down under that. Just to screw me up. Because apparently the guards can do that. <laughs> You know, this isn't even like those kind of horror games where you hide inside a locker because it's as if the horror monster just randomly looks inside the lockers. 
as I swear to you, the guards have done that. <laughs> when I tried recording this the first time, they'll randomly look. Oh, what's that? There's something under there? Oh, we better check under there. Typically in a stealth game, guards are not that aware. Or if they are, there's some way around it. Shit. Okay, I bet I think I should probably run now. Is there somebody there? Run. Just run, bro. Huh? Yep, just run. Who's there? Your mother. Your mother's there. That's who. Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. How appropriate since I had to record this twice. Because OBS decided to screw up on me. Excellent snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Sadly, the guards have. Suit working out. I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. You know, I think I can see why it's hard to crouch. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? Maybe it's the sneaking suit doing it. I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Seriously, who is that? Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Yeah, easier said than done, huh? There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... Y young <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But 
I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. Of course they do. I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. That's a big if, I'm guessing. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here. And then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Mm, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. Maybe he needs to keep warm. Have you ever thought about that? Ah, uh, this is gonna be a nightmare. There's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left, and one on the right. They're armed with 5.56ers five and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Well, whatever I choose, they're probably gonna f spot me a mile away when I'm behind something. Probably not even in the same postage area. Do I sound defeatist? That's because... Okay, for some reason, um, it's not responding to my controller. Why is that? Okay, there we go. My bad. Yeah, I'm just getting weary of this. On the plus side, I can see in first person, so I guess that can help. Although, by the time I can see them, they're going to be able to see me, so it's not like that's going to do me much good. Ah, oh boy. Ah, oh boy. Crap. Doing the same pattern, are we? You have got to be kidding me. How is that a thing? How did he do that while he was on the radio? Now I'm just calling bull crap on all of this, man. You know what? I'm just calling bull crap on the whole thing. Damn it. Snake, crouch. Crouch. Okay, these controls are just screwing me up, man. Take this. Uh, no thanks. I'm getting out of here. I guess I'll just have to go backwards since Snake doesn't know how to turn around. Why does it seem like everything in this game is harder than the PS1 version?
I don't get it. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. You know what I think it is? I think it's the fact that I picked normal. I thought normal was normal, but I'm beginning to think that normal actually means hard because it's technically the third difficulty option. I mean, there's very easy, easy, normal, and then hard. I would hate to imagine hard. I moved the DARPA chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? Oh, they just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. <clears throat> really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah, and they say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. Yeah, I was about to say. Are they that omniscient? I know the guards have shown omniscience, but that would just be ridiculous if they already knew I was here during an actual cutscene. Come on, bro. At least pretend to be fair about this. Come on. Maybe if I continue with this, I should pick easy. Or very easy, maybe. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Seriously, this just seems harder than the PS1 version. And I don't think I'm being a uh, stickler on that too much. I swear to you, it just feels like that. What is it? Press the action button to drop down. Thanks. I appreciate it. Um, now you just call it A. For some reason, uh, I can't do that. I guess that was the action button. Ah, shit. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Thanks. Follow me every two seconds. I mean, maybe I should be grateful. Every second I'm being called is, I suppose, one second that I don't have to spend, um, on this. Oh, okay, they're on the... F that guard must be on the first floor. I guess that's convenient. Although these grates have holes in them, so technically the guard would be able to see me. Oh shit, there's a security camera. Wonderful. Crap. Well, that's bad. Yeah, moving around while crouched is very inconvenient. Okay, come on. Oh boy, this is bad. Jeez. There's gonna be a lot of cameras here, aren't there? Well, at least I can get under here. Not that it's helping me too much, I would imagine. Ah, boy. Hurry up. I swear, he takes too long to do anything. I swear to God, Snake takes too long to do anything. Well, I'm as good as dead. Ah, 
<laughs> Just gonna try to mash the button and, uh, yeah, I'm dead. Well, that's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like snake. Two snakes biting in my jugular, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and I am screwed. See you later. If you like what you saw, you can find more of that in these videos right here. If you're a real junkie for video games like I am, then subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already to get your next fix, and a like and a comment are always appreciated too.